It's excessive. It's intimidating. It demands and requires respect. It's more powerful, more capable, and more impressive. It can outclimb, outpull, and straight up outrun anything else in its path. It's confidence inspiring, but also terrifying. It's louder and faster than ever before. Can-Am's Maverick is responsible for the all-out horsepower war that's raging in the sports side-by-side -side industry right now. Their original 100 horsepower 1000cc Maverick set the benchmark for what a sports side-by-side -side should be. Then they set the bench on fire with the addition of the industry's first factory-installed intercooled turbo. In 2016, Can-Am has taken the Maverick Turbo one step further by adding an additional 10 horsepower for a total of 131 ponies. This, along with the addition of an XRS Turbo model that features a list of upgrades we've never seen included from the factory, has set a new standard for what a factory performance side-by-side -side could be. What's most important though, is how the Maverick performs in the real world and how we think it stacks up against a growing list of competitive models. First of all, this Maverick is the first two-seat model we've tested with the new TTA rear suspension. I'm gonna just be straight with you. I didn't like the old TTA rear end on the original Maverick. It was based on solid theories and engineering, but when the rubber hit the road, or more specifically the bumps, it just didn't work as well as the competition's trailing arms or even lower end models, double A arms. This rear suspension is a completely new design that Can-Am continues to call the TTA, but describes as a compact version of a 5-link. It looks and sounds complicated, but what's most important is that it actually works. At 16 inches, the XRS's TTA rear suspension is slightly down on travel compared to most other pure sport side-by-sides. But combined with its expertly tuned Fox Podium 2.5 shocks that include anti-bottoming cups, the new TTA rear end feels like it has more travel than it actually does. As a complete suspension package, the Maverick's AA arms up front and new TTA in the rear are adequate. But the truth is, they're not putting their competition to shame in any way. Blasting fire roads or running trails at high speed is great, but when the bumps get really big, the limitations of the Maverick are not hard to find. And this is compounded by one thing we've never been really crazy about when it comes to the Maverick and something that we'd still like to see change today, the seating position. The Maverick's interior was borrowed from the more utility-minded Commander model, which is comfortable, but not designed for ultra-aggressive riding. What's often referred to as cart-style seating that's found in most of the competition's pure sport models is far superior to the more upright seating position the Maverick shares with the Commander. If Can-Am wanted to do one thing to improve all Maverick models, it would be redesign the interior with more aggressive riding in mind. With that said, there's no question Can-Am has got things dialed on the performance end. Their 1000cc V-Twin was good on its own, and it was even better with a turbo at 121 horsepower but throw in an additional 10 ponies and things get crazy. Can-Am has clutched the turbo to be happiest in the six to 8,000 RPM zone. Jamming the throttle to the floor at any speed will result in a lightning fast rise of RPM to about the six grand mark before the Kevlar really gets pinched hard by the clutches. The big twin still feels plenty stout before the boost hits, but there's a very noticeable surge of horsepower as the RPMs climb above that six grand mark. That extra thrust on its own would be enough to get the hairs on the back of your neck to stand up, but throw in the throaty snarl gurgling out of the XRS's factory-installed set of stainless Yoshimura exhaust cans, and you can't help but hold it wide open as often as space will allow. For 2016, Can-Am has included a number of factory-installed upgrades on their highest-end XRS model. This genuine stainless steel Yoshimura exhaust system is just one of them. A new set of even more trick beadlock wheels look amazing. Standard front and rear bumpers provide protection but also give a tough appearance. And a set of factory installed wide webbing padded four point harnesses are almost unbelievably an industry first. My time with the 2016 Maverick XRS Turbo has convinced me of a few things. First, a 131 horsepower V-twin turbocharged engine in a side-by-side -side might just be the most fun you can have with your clothes on. Second, 
This is the best Maverick Can-Am has ever built, hands down. And third, while it is true this is the best Maverick ever, it's still just a few ergonomic and suspension refinements away from knocking the class leader off its throne. If you've enjoyed watching this Dirt Tracks TV segment, we encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you'll never miss another update.